Take the thing to the brig. I want 24-hour security. This thing doesn't eat unless I know about it. Aye, sir. I'm sorry. The regret is not for myself. This is a great loss for the Vulcan people. We should seek to limit such losses. If they tortured and killed Serac for that information, they'll do the same to Tamar. I am afraid you are correct, Captain. How do you want to handle this one? Our mission could not be more clear. We must go through the rip and recover the Helios machine. And Tamar? I suppose we will just have to save her as well. You read my mind, Commander. And you didn't even have to do that uh, voodoo mind melt thing with my face. Having a hard time keeping her steady. She can't take any more of this, Captain. It's taking everything I've got to keep the ship from ripping apart. Hate to be such a bother, sir, but how much longer? Not too much longer, Scotty. Unknown planet, dead ahead, sir. On screen. It appears as if this is the same planet we saw during the mind meld, Captain. Have they spotted us? It doesn't appear so, sir. If the Enterprise stays near the rip, the interference should keep us hidden. Perfect. Chekhov, take the control. Sulu, you gotta get us down there. Our only chance is if we fly a shuttle in manually, but the odds of them not seeing us are... I have total faith in you. Bones, you're with us. What? Why do I have to go? Jim... I'm a doctor, not a covert agent. Precisely. And as a doctor, you may be our only hope in defeating the Gord. If you are able to discover an antidote to their venom, we could definitely gain an advantage. <sighs> Damn it. Chekhov, how much time do we have? At the current rate of contraction, the rip will close in approximately six hours, sir. Chekhov, I want the Enterprise back on the other side of that rip before it closes. After you return, right, sir? Whether or not we return. Wait, what? Captain? That's a direct order, Mr. Chekhov. I will not have this ship and my crew left to the mercy of those things if we can't get out of there in time. Aye, sir. Spock, Sulu, Bones, with me. Chekhov, I'm counting on you. Bones, let's go. Right behind you, Jim. Seriously, don't leave me down there. Target, but I have to put her down here, sir. As long as we land safely, I don't care where you put us down. Spock? Readings indicate they are a separate species from the Gorn. They do not appear to be hostile. How do you know? I do not. Comforting. Curious. Their biological makeup appears ill-suited for this type of environment. You think the Gorn drove them here? It is highly probable. I would advise that we lower our weapons before we make additional enemies on this planet. Stand down. Spock, if you're wrong. If I am wrong, then Starfleet will mourn all of us. Incomplete.
this looks interesting. Thanks for the shield assist! Interesting. We have to find a way off this mountain. Let's get moving. Let's see what we've got here. Transponder frequency is coming from beyond this ridge. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to jump. Sulu, can you fix that shuttle? I think so, sir. But it may take some time. Try not to take too long. If anything goes wrong, we may need to get the hell out of here pretty quickly. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, you know what? I'm coming with you. What? You think I'm only useful in sick bay? I was trained at the same academy that you were. Took all the same courses. Passed every exam. Hell, I even graduated. After you, Doctor. Uh, on second thought, I might be better suited back here with Sula. I could help out on the shuttle. Get a head start on that antidote. <laughs> Good idea. We will need to take out that radio tower first. You know, if we weren't trying to save the entire universe, this might actually be fun. If you say so, Captain.
solid ground. Nice. The tower that shot us down is up ahead. Our shuttle will not get far if that tower remains operational. Well, let's take it out. Ah, just one. Shouldn't be too hard. That remains to be proven. Anybody ever tell you you can be a bit of a downer, Spock? Yes, Captain. You tell me that with great frequency. Too quiet. I don't like this. I would have to agree. The silence is quite unsettling. We are definitely not alone. Take cover! Where'd that come from? The enemy appears to be cloaked. How do we uncloak them? Our tricorder should be able to reveal them if only temporarily. Dead end. There's got to be a way around this thing. I believe there may be a way for one of us to get across. ticking commander <laughs> give me some cover fire
Captain, you need to work more quickly. Cover fire! Let's move. We don't have much time. We will need to avoid the detection system. thing open together. Thanks for the shield assist! Find another way. We will need to enter that facility in order to disengage the tower's shielding. May I suggest a more indirect route? Sounds good to me. Okay. 